today's video, we'll be exploring the two ends of the sound spectrum using the Mod 007 SB2. By the end of this modding guide, you should be able to get a high pitch sound like this and a low pitch sound like this, with the simplest of mods available. So, let's get started. Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to Rikib Related Video. A bit shorter this time, as this is an extra video for the Mod 007 s V2, and how we could make it talk or clack depending on our preferences. For reference, I use keyboard's findings and charts to determine the best config for this board, and I'd like to thank him for researching this all and making it accessible to the community. Starting with the preliminary things I did to the board, I tape modded the back of the PCB to reverb the sound a bit more coming out from the switches. I also did the force break mod to eliminate the pinging caused by the metal to metal contact of the top and bottom cases. Lastly, I changed the silicone pads to foreign ones as the community said that it will increase the flex of the board and it doesn't affect the sound much switching pads. Overall flex, because like the silicone it is definitely a lot stiffer. Let's start with the clack build. After multiple off-cam tests, I determined that the best way to clack is to remove all the foam such as the case, the plate, and the PE foam. This is to be able to make the board resonate inside the case. This can be done without any of those pinging sounds using the force break mod we did earlier. And that's just what I did. I still use the stock alu plate as according to keyboard charts, it's much more clackier relative to PC. And I added some of Keybox's new switches into the mix. These are the Suke Rokoko switch, which have become one of my favorite tactiles of the bunch. It's a pre-loop PC top and bottom, long pole stem, which in all fairness is a light tactile. This is with an actuation force of 37 grams and a 45 gram bottom out. I'll review this soon, but the gist of it is that it's a snappy light tactile that I had the pleasure to use. No word yet on availability, as I'll ask Keybox about that, but I'll update you in the comments later on when it's in stock. I chose these switches as they are so clacky, but you could pick your own switch according to your preference. Just keep in mind that whatever build you're going to do, may it be clacky or talky, complement it with a switch that accords with your build. Lastly, I added some polyfill off cam and used my Sky Dolce ABS set as these keycaps often give me a clacky sound profile because of its ABS nature. Finally, here's how it sounded. From that clacky monster, let's now go to the deeper end of the sound spectrum. Opening the board back up, I added all the foams such as the plate, PE, and case foam inside the board. I then changed the plate to PC or polycarbonate to complement the switches. The switches I used for the talk build weren't the Rococos as they were too clacky. Instead, I used Keybox's new Suke Pink Purple switch which are linears that have a 48 gram actuation force and a 55 gram bottom out. It felt like the gut blocks I used before, but a little bit heavier. It's a PC top, nylon bottom, and palm stem, and should provide the talk we want from this build. Lastly, I used the Shenpo caps, which are thick PBT cherry propal keycaps, and in my experience, having a PBT set open helps out the talk of the build. And with that out of the way, here's how it sounded.
In the end of this video, we have achieved what we wanted, to go both ends of the sound spectrum, with only one board. I am a clacky enjoyer myself, but in this instance, I preferred the Toki build for whatever reason. Which was your favorite sound profile, the Toki or the Clacky build? Comment them down below. Once again, I'm John J. Brimaba, and I'll see you in the next video.